Tragedy strikes Trichy, a head-on collision between two passenger buses leaves 14 dead, 20 seriously injured. Chief Minister calms nerves of industry heads on twin deficits of power and manpower, assures of no shortages of either. Back after three weeks, boycott land grab charges against DMK chief causes high drama, DMK stages a walkout. Dealing with blow after blow of land grabbing, DMK to meet President to seek her intervention. Get set for Chief Minister Jai Lalita. Uh, Supreme Court of Bench hints that Amma might have to appear in person in the disproportionate assets case. Jai Lalita opens the vault to her assets. Chief Minister says she has assets worth 51 crores and that she's nothing to hide. Land grab offensive continues after DMK man K. Nehru. Tamil Nadu police detains K. Nehru's brother, Ramjayam. A diamond of an offer or mud in the face. Over 100 people are duped by this realty firm promising land allotments. A very good evening. You're watching News Tonight with me, Ashmit. Time now for the latest coming in from across the country. The Lista pact looks unlikely after Mamta Banerjee pulled out of a trip to Dhaka with the Prime Minister. Former Karnataka Minister Janaltha Reddy and his brother-in-law arrested in illegal mining, dispatched to jail for 14 days. The BJP and the Congress on the back foot on their links with the Reddies. Jagan fends off questions about favours granted by the YSR government. After Rahul Gandhi became General Secretary in 2007, WikiLeaks cables quote the US envoy viewed him as an empty suit. Well, first up at this hour, in a tragic tale, a horrific accident in Trichy has left 14 people dead, including three children. Now, the accident also left 20 others seriously injured. Now, the two buses 40 kilometers outside of Trichy near Mana, Manaparai were involved in a head-on collision. Now, one of the buses was bound for Madurai from Chennai, while the other bus was on its way from Manaparai when the mishap occurred. Well, some political heat now from the state. The members of the DMK once again walked out of the assembly, alleging that they were not given an opportunity to react to a special mention by the speaker on the DMK leader's land grab issue in the assembly. Have a look. The DMK returned to the assembly after a three-week boycott and promptly walked out again as a special mention was made on alleged land grab by DMK leaders, including the party chief, M. Karnandi. When Durai Murugan, the DMK's deputy leader in the assembly, was denied permission to intervene, there was a lot of shouting by the DMK members, which ended in a walkout. The DMK has taken up a campaign through rallies accusing the ruling AIA DMK of not respecting democratic values in the House. The DMK's posturing inside and outside the Assembly may keep it in the limelight. However, State Local Administration Minister KP Munusami placed on record in the House that legal action will be taken against DMK Chief M. Karnandi for what he called encroachment of 780 square feet of land at Gopalapuram. <laughs> Will the DMK use this opportunity to answer the AIADMK regime or will it be forced to be on the back foot remains to be seen in the coming days of the assembly session. In Chennai, with Peer Muhammad, this is Ashmit Kumar for NDTV Hindu. Well, speaking of the land grab offensive, K.N. Ramajayam, brother of former Tamil Nadu Minister K.N. Nehru, has been detained at the Kochi airport. Now, Ramajayam was uh, detained while trying to fly to Dubai early this morning via an Emirates flight. Now, this comes close on the heels of another such arrest of K.N. Nehru himself in the land grab case a few days back. Jalalta government is cracking down on land grabbers in a big way. 
Well, fending off against the land grab charges and arrests, DMK MPs are likely to meet the president tomorrow against Tamil Nadu Chief Minister J. J. Lalitha. Now, the MPs are likely to submit memorandum seeking president's intervention against J. Lalitha's government arresting DMK cadres and former members on charges of land grab. Now, J. Lalitha government has recently arrested large number of DMK leaders, including former ministers, on charges of land grabbing. And well, in what might come as a major blow to the chief minister herself, uh, the apex judicial body hinted that Amma might have to appear in the Bangalore trial court that is hearing the disproportionate assets case. Now, the bench comprising of Dalveer Bhandari and Deepak Varma noted that the petition from Amma seeking exemption from personal appearance would only cause more delays in the proceedings. Now, the matter has been adjourned for one week to allow senior counsel Harish Salve to consult Jai Lalitha. Now, earlier... Amma had sought exemption from personal appearance in the case under Section 313 of the CRPC, citing security concerns. Now, the bench today noted that it could direct the trial court to make the necessary security preparations. Now, the disproportionate assets case was slapped on Amma on charges of accumulation of wealth to the tune of 66 crores between the year 91 and 96. And while well, the Chief Minister Jailalta today told the House that her assets are worth 51 crore rupees, now, she said that there is nothing to hide in the assets owned by her. And meanwhile, the DMK chief Karnandi was quick to react to the day's developments. He took a sarcastic jibe at the AI DMK in reference to the land grab charges on him. And he went on to milk the Supreme Court's observations on the disproportionate assets case, looking for political brownie points. Well, staying with voices coming in from the DMK, meanwhile responding to WikiLeaks controversy. In damage control mode, TKS Elangovan, the DMK spokesperson, responded. Now, on the back foot, he remarked that the DMK did not interfere in other parties' affairs and also that the views expressed were those only of an individual and not the party. WikiLeaks cables reveal the DMK wanted Sonia Gandhi to be the Prime Ministerial candidate in the 2009 Lok Sabha elections, not Dr. Manmohan Singh. Joining us now, DMK MP and spokesman, Mr. T.K. Selangovan. So what's your comment on the WikiLeaks says that the DMK did not want uh, Manmohan wrong. Singh being the Prime Minister? wrong because Manmohan Singh was the Prime Minister even in UPA 1. So there is no question of we uh, making any suggestions and our leader has is very uh, categorical that he will not interfere with the affairs of an alliance party. That is not our work. It is for that party to decide on their leader or uh, their prime minister. We have nothing to do on that. But, but the comments made by one of the uh, close associates of DMK chief to the US authorities, how do you that react to that? That is not the stand of the party. It is an opinion by an individual who is associated with the party. That you should not take it for uh, as the stand of the party. Party has nothing to do with that. But Anybody can give an opinion on anything. But then that gentleman is very close to the DMK chief. That is different. He may suggest certain things. See, he is not an active party office bearer. He is not a spokesperson. He is not the general secretary or any other secretary. He is closely associated with the party because he likes the party. He may have his own ideas. That is the, That doesn't mean that it is the party's ideas. So Sonia Gandhi being the Prime Minister candidate, it's not DMK view at all? I will tell you, when earlier when Sonia Gandhi, the opposition party said that Sonia Gandhi should not become the Prime Minister of the, this country because she is a foreigner, our leader had clearly stated that she should, she can become the Prime Minister and she should became, become the Prime Minister. So that was the standard before 2004. When she herself chose Dr. Manmohan Singh as Chief Prime Minister of this country, we have accepted it and it continues, that arrangement continues. But before 2004, your opinion was that she is the right candidate for the Prime Minister? No, when the opposition said she cannot become the Prime Minister, we said no, why, why not? She can become the Prime Minister. 
See, we cannot uh, direct a party to choose its own leader. It is their prerogative, their MPs, their party, which, uh, which has to decide on that. Thanks. You know, they are our good ally, allies. Um, we have been contesting elections for the second consecutive uh, term. So, we, it is not for us to interfere with their affairs. It is, it is not the DMK stand. And our leader is always clear that uh, we cannot interfere with the affairs of the other party. Thanks. That was Mr. Elangon saying that it was not DMK stand. It is the in, uh, stand of an individual who was, of course, close to Mr. Karnanidhi in New Delhi, Arunachalam Vaidyanathan for NDTV. Well, up ahead on the other side, scores of people are lining up or were rather lined up outside the Commissioner of Greater Chennai, alleging foul play by city-based realtors. We get you all the updates on the other side.